Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Melody and today I wanted to do a video and just kind of have a chit chat with you all about what it's like to have the Holy Spirit inside of you or just what it's like to do life with the Holy Spirit. As some of you guys might know already, I wrote a book called Hosting Heaven, Learning to Hear the Voice of God for Your Life. I think at some point in time you would have seen this book on my channel and I would have spoken about it in one way or the other but today I wanted to do a quick video on just like things that I've experienced first thing I wanted to talk about is peace the Bible says that there is a peace that surpasses all understanding and I have personally encountered and experienced this peace that surpasses all understanding I mean, I've gone through certain things in my journey, my Christian journey, where I shouldn't have come out sane. I shouldn't have come out of those circumstances trusting God. I should not have survived. And there were just seasons where I was in a deep and a raging storm all around me, but I was right in the eye, right in the center of that storm, and I was just experiencing supernatural peace. And sometimes you actually ask yourself, why am I so calm? Why am I so composed when I should be freaking out? And it is because of the Holy Spirit. He has a way of shielding us. He has a way of creating an environment around us that protects us from the fire that is surrounding us or from the lions that are surrounding us. So I've just experienced such supernatural peace. Second thing that I've experienced is counsel. You know, there has been situations in my Christian journey where I know for a fact that if I didn't have the Holy Spirit and a relationship with the Holy Spirit, I would have made incredibly dumb decisions. I would have made, made bad decisions that would have had lifelong consequences. And I know for a fact that I would not be where I am right now had it not been for His wisdom and His counsel. And the Holy Spirit has spoken to me through watching other people's lives and giving me wisdom in my own life. He has spoken to me through dreams. I remember specifically this one season, um, I was dating this one guy. Girl, listen. I was dating this one guy, and this guy was actually dating another lady, and I didn't know it, and I would have never known it. But the Holy Spirit led me into a, I remember it was a 41 day fast, and I did not even know what I was fasting for. and. I, I had no clue. I literally just obeyed and I walked into this fast and I kept fasting and he said, you're going to stop when I say stop. But I, I also had a knowing that it was only going to happen after 41 days. I remember after those 41 days, two days afterwards, in a very supernatural way, I learned that my then boyfriend had other women in his life. Something that I know and I am completely committed to the fact that I would have never known. It would have never been revealed to me unless I had gone through this journey that the Holy Spirit led me into. And so the Holy Spirit has just given me counsel. He has given me supernatural knowledge about certain things uh, and revealed things to me in supernatural ways. Something that I know for a fact that it wouldn't have been my wisdom. It wouldn't have been me. So you get counsel, you get supernatural counsel when you start walking with the Holy Spirit. Third thing that I've encountered and experienced because of my relationship with the Holy Spirit is companionship. You know, sometimes there can be people around you. You could have so many friends, you could be well friended up, but still have a void within you that only God can fill. And God allows His Holy Spirit to enter into this small piece of the puzzle that is open and void and he allows the spirit of God to infuse himself in this void and to give us this this completeness that we are yearning for that we are seeking after you know you could be watching this video and you're saying to yourself you know I I have the friends that are necessary I and mean, you could be married you could have the kids you could have the good house and you're saying to yourself what else what is that thing within me that feels still so empty that still feels as though I'm not complete and I'm not full. It could be because you have not allowed the companionship of the Holy Spirit in your life. So I want you to allow Him in. Open yourself up and allow God's Spirit 
to truly start becoming active through a relationship, a, a genuine, actual relationship, and allow him his rightful place in your heart, and you're going to start seeing supernatural things happen to your life. And those supernatural things will start by feeling fulfilled from within. Something that I've also encountered because of the Holy Spirit in my life is wisdom. You see, the Bible says that who knows the mind of God except the Spirit of God? The Spirit of God has the wisdom of God. He, has, he carries the intelligence of God. He carries all the files that heaven possesses concerning the earth, concerning the earth's wealth, concerning the earth's way of systems, concerning the earth's way of running. So literally, all of God's wisdom is hidden in the Holy Spirit. Through the Holy Spirit, we get access to the mind of Christ. Through the Holy Spirit, we get access into things that are coming, things that have happened before and things that are currently happening. Have you ever just known stuff and you didn't even know how you knew? It is the power of the Holy Spirit alive and active in your life. The Holy Spirit also gives a supernatural courage. I mean, I've been through certain situations where I found myself speaking and I knew I was not speaking, that there was something within me that was speaking within me, that the, the courage that I possessed was not coming from me as an individual because I don't possess that type of boldness. I, I knew for a fact that it was God speaking through me, through His Spirit. And so if you're in a space, in a season, in your journey, where you could be facing insurmountable situations that need you to have a high supernatural level of courage, you find that in the Holy Spirit. He gives you the boldness to step into rooms and to see, say and speak things that you wouldn't have been able to say and speak without Him being present. He gives you the courage to withstand difficult situations. I love one thing that my pastor once said. He said, the devil has no fruit of the spirit. So don't ever expect him to be patient. So sometimes there are situations that you have to go through and you have to stand through and you have to wait it out until the devil gives up because he has no patience. That messed me up. That just messed me up. I was like, okay. So if you're in need of courage, if you're in need of boldness, wait on the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is also the greatest strategist. You see, because the Holy Spirit has the mind of God, He carries the Spirit of God, He can give you strategy in whatever difficult and stubborn situation that you've been going through, situations that you have been failing to get solutions to. The Holy Spirit is the greatest and ultimate strategist. He knows things to come. He knows inventions before they happen. Trust Him for strategy. The Holy Spirit also gives you perspective. You see, as people, we have ground view perspective, but God and His Spirit have an aerial view perspective. In my book, Hosting Heaven, Learning to Hear the Voice of God for Your Life, I talk about this story, this encounter that I have with God. I'm in a plane and I'm flying from Zimbabwe to Cape Town. And God says, look down. And when I look down the window, I start seeing a city. We were flying over a city and from an aerial view, you could see so many different patterns that the town planner had thoughtfully, carefully thought out about the city. These patterns I wouldn't have been able to see if I was underneath and if I was on ground level. You see, when God looks at your life, He sees your life from an aerial view. He sees your life from a level that you don't see it. And so He sees so much more detail than you do. The Holy Spirit has the detail concerning your life. And when you allow Him, He can allow you to have that aerial view. He can allow you to change your perspective from a ground view perspective to an aerial perspective where you are able to see certain life situations that happened to you from the perspective of God. And you're able to say, you know, that had to happen for me to be positioned in the place where I am right now, just for me to encounter destiny. So I'm hoping that somebody watching this video, God is going to elevate you into a higher dimension where you start seeing your life circumstances from a higher level, where you start seeing your life circumstances from an aerial view. And when you start realizing that there's certain things that had to happen to you so that you could just align and connect to destiny and align and connect to some of your destiny partners, everything was working together for your good.